Hello friends, welcome to the Automation Revolution. In this video, we will learn about multi-point interface communication uh, with the help of Profibus cable. So, multi-point interface is uh, having 126 node for uh, communication between other devices. So, in this uh, protocol, we are using Profibus, uh, means process, process field bus cable uh, for making communication and uh, networking. So, in Profibus cable, we can connect up to 126 different uh, devices uh, in single cable. This Profibus cable is uh, widely used uh, for uh, making redundancy as well as uh, making networking uh, with different devices. So this MPI uh, interface is very useful and uh, uh, for making uh, remote and uh, local PLC. So here uh, we will make uh, communication between local and partner PLC. So you can see in uh, Siemens TI portal software uh, I have uh, configured two PLC S7300 on his local and partner and uh, then uh, we will configure a uh, multi-point interface uh, communication between two PLCs. So now let's start how we can uh, configure uh, in the Siemens TI portal. So here I have taken uh, two PLC S7300, uh, 314C, 2P and DP and uh, I have renamed this PLC local and partner so we can get detailed. Now uh, in PLC device view we will set uh, MPI address so from the property we are getting here uh, it's option MPI address and here we will set the interface type MPI as well as uh, we will uh, set address for the MPI second thing uh, we will enable uh, clock memory in uh, both the PLC for data communication synchronization so here uh, we will get clock memory option and here uh, we will enable that clock memory and memory byte will be uh, 0 so we will get m0.02 m0.7 uh, total 8 bit clock memory and uh, then download this PLC into hardware so this clock memory will be uh, enabled and uh, this MPI address will be set in this PLC so we have configured for local and uh, now same thing we will do with partner PLC here also we will uh, enable the clock memory and we will set MP address for this partner PLC. So in uh, local PLC we have set uh, 2 and uh, here we will add address uh, 3. Up to 126 address we can uh, assign here. So I will assign here 3. And uh, here also uh, for partner PLC we will download. Now after uh, downloading uh, both the PLC in hardware, uh, we will take programming block for making communication uh, for MPI. So first uh, we will go for this local PLC and uh, from this local PLC we want to send the data. So here uh, in uh, instruction option we are getting communication folder and uh, from the communication we are getting uh, here MPI communication function. And from MPI we have uh, two blocks X and and excessive uh, for uh, communication uh, between two PLC with the help of uh, Profibus cable and MPI communication. So from local PLC I will use XN block. So you can see here we, we have already uh, taken this XN block and here uh, different parameter is there. So we will uh, see detailed information about that parameter. So press help menu. So here you can see uh, different parameters are given here and uh, what are the declaration data type as well as this uh, description is also available. So from request ID uh, we will uh, here give um, clock memory for data communication and here we will give for some memory bit uh, to enable uh, continuously uh, uh, communication. Here we will add uh, destination ID means MPI address of second or partner PLC for request ID we will uh, here address uh, give address for MPI uh, for the local PLC here uh, from the send data we will uh, configure here uh, data type for making uh, uh, for starting uh, the beat for that communication in return value uh, we are getting uh, error if there, uh, there is error then we are getting some hexadecimal code here and from uh, that code we are getting what type, what type, uh, what type of problem is there in uh, busy uh, we are getting bit 1 or 0 so 
if data is uh, sending so that time we are getting a one and uh, for zero uh, sending is completed that uh, notification we are getting uh, from the VZ. now you can see uh, as per parameterizations we have uh, taken here memory bit so m0.0 .0 is clock memory uh, this is norm normal memory uh, m1.0 uh, that will be enable a destination id means uh, here we have given three address uh, for this partner mp address and this request id for this local plc mp address here uh, we will uh, give this addressing in standard format so p has and uh, initial bit of that uh, plc from where we, we, we want to send the data so i136.0 is the initial addressing of uh, this plc for input and from that input we want to send the data and total 10 byte we can send uh, from this plc here uh, for return value we will uh, address mw20 any uh, memory word and uh, here uh, for busy bit we will assign any uh, uh, memory bit we can give any memory bit for this BZ and then uh, we will download this block into local PLC. Now we will uh, go for the second partner PLC and uh, in this program block we will use the uh, send data from the MPA communication we will get this X receive so same block we have taken. So this first bit is for enable uh, data in detailed information we will see so this bit will be uh, enabled so that time continuously uh, we can send the data in queue and the return value we are getting uh, hexadecimal code if uh, error codes occurs then instruction being executed so here if uh, enable and uh, data is 0 or 1 so that time we are getting uh, some information and request id uh, is job identifier of the action uh, instructions okay and then the nda is new data arrived so when uh, any new data will become so it will be 0 or 1 so we are getting whether uh, data is coming or not and from read data uh, we will address uh, in standard format from uh, from where, uh, where we want to store the data in uh, second plc so you can see as per this uh, standard uh, parameterizations we have uh, given here uh, different memory bit uh, memory word so i will uh, assign here any single digital input i136.1 so i will enable this uh, bit then and only we are getting output in uh, second plc here we have assigned a written value as a memory word and here request id is in double word format a new data arrived bit will be uh, come here m5.0 so this this will be uh, 0 or 1 when uh, new data will be coming from the queue and here we will receive uh, output starting from q136.0 up to uh, 10 byte we are getting data so now i also uh, download this block into second plc so now uh, we have uh, downloaded x and an accessive block in both the plc uh, local and partner and now we will see in hardware whether data is coming uh, or not from the profibus cable so now we will see in hardware so here you know, we can see uh, that we have two siemens s7300 plc so this will be uh, local plc and uh, we have connected this plc with this uh, profibus uh, cable and uh, this is our partner plc so you can see this is the profibus cable we have connected uh, with this uh, local plc and uh, this is the uh, industrial ethernet cable for uh, uh, making uh, programming from the ti portal and uh, here we have uh, digital inputs and outputs so now uh, in partner plc uh, i will first enable uh, this bit for communication enable and uh, from this local plc uh, we will send the data so i will just give input so you can see here we are getting output here and uh, in the queue we are getting output the same like uh, 
from the local PLC we are sending the data and uh, in, in partner PLC we are getting uh, data uh, in digital format so this will be a uh, multi-point interface communication uh, between two PLC uh, with the help of Profibus cable so thank you very much for watching the video